Hello, let's look at this white table. This is common table for business. When you have some names or other columns going down, and in my example, dates are going right. So this table may grow right and down both, both ways. It will grow here. Some day will be bigger and bigger. This table is bad for data analysis because it can be used in query formulas, in filter formulas, and so on. And also you can't make private table from this. So this is actually a pivot table. So user can easily see, hey, what is shoe at 19th of October? And here is the sum. So user can easily find any number in this kind of table. But for computer, this kind of table is not normal. So we have sample of normal data and sheet code normal data. And this is the same data, but converted into thin table. So this was white and this will be thin table. So let's find out how to make these tables. I will use script for this because if we write formula, it will be too long and too, it, it is too hard to make formula to make this work. So I will use script and first I will show you my personal script library called Google Sheets. And I will need two scripts for here from 2D arrays and from on pivot table JS. So go back to my spreadsheet, go to tools script editor, save the project, let it be on pivot. I don't need this sample function, I will delete it. But first, I will call this script file, rename it as to d arrays, and I will copy this to d array code. I will see row, row code here. Press Ctrl A and just copy all this code into my first module. And next, I will create new script file and call it unpivot. OK. And let's go back to my library and go to unpivot table JS file. And also copy the whole code from inside of here. And copy it to another file. So we, we could also copy all this code into one script file, but I made two, two script files because it is better for user to understand this code later. So that's all, and uh, I, I saved this code from here and here. Here I pressed Ctrl S. Now I can close this tab and close GitHub library also and make sheet and pivot one and let's let's see what our formula needs to have formula called get and pivot you will have it in formula list just select and see we have sheet header one header two and labels so i will show you how to include all them Sheet is data one is just the name of sheet with data. Then header one is a one because it is header of these names which are going down. So it's just a one. Just type a one here. And header two is from b one up to here, but we don't know exactly. So I made my formula in this way. You just need to include first range, first cells of this range. So it will be B1, and then labels is some tricky thing. It, it is comma separated list of labels. So we have here dates and sums. But in white table, you don't have any space for including these headers. So let's look at our 
normal data. It has date and sum. So let's also say, hey, formula, give me date and sum as headers for this. So let's get back to our getting pivot table. Sheet is data one, comma, header one, a one, comma, header two, b one, and labels is data comma fun. So we just made some strings. And uh, you see the result. Uh, you may then check the result is correct. And let's get to another example. This pivot table or this white table is more complex. In some way it has two columns here, name and occupation, and his it has also two columns here, dates and plan fact. So I will copy my unpivot sheet. I will call it unpivot2. And uh, let's correct this. I will have sheet code data2. I will have headers from A2 to B2. Header 1, so A2, semicolon, B2. Next, header 2 is C1, C2. It also expands in some way, expands down in one for one row. And last step, I also have plan fact column. So let's include it after some. Plan, keep an Fact. Enter. And that's it. When our data is loaded, I have names, their occupation, and dates, and sums, and oh, for, for plan fact goes first, and then goes sum. Sum is the last. The last one. The last one is metrics. In our case, this is some. Oh, I made it vice versa. First plan fact and then some. And that's it. See you next time.